It's 3 p.m. San Francisco Bay. Traffic is just as bad as in LA. So I know we get a bad rap for it, you know? Just as crazy. And we are in, we are in carpool. I made a mistake with the Olive Garden Pasta Pass. The second year that I'm doing this, and uh, this is the second year that I, I have it. I only was able to get one, so I'll be going to Olive Garden by myself most of the time and packing home some leftovers. But that's not even the big mistake. Big mistake is, is that I completely forgot about it. So it's already a couple days in and I just happen to come across an email that tells me that it's time to start. I'm guessing this is how Olive Garden is kind of making their money too. People completely forget about their membership. What was that about? I see a lot of beat up vehicles on the road at around 3 p.m. And my wife thinks that it's because that's when all the blue collar workers are going home because they had to wake up at five in the morning as the end of their shift. But just about every car out here is uh, on the street right now. It's not in great condition. You might be wondering what we're doing at three in the afternoon while this is our second venture together. And she is working on his and her flowers. And I guess I'm gonna be the technology and stuff behind some of that. And by technology, basically I'm gonna be the labor in moving the flowers back and forth from the different community centers. It, it, it's really low tech, it's still technology and I wanna keep this still kind of a technology vlog. Yeah, we are pursuing her dream of flower arranging and actually this whole part of moving back to the San Francisco Bay Area is pursuing her dream. Her dream is also for me to tag along with random stuff like this too. So I'm gonna visit a police station for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, so any time that you don't have to go to the police station, it's probably a good day. So today I'm going to San Leandro Police Station because Apparently you need to get a background check or life scan and some other stuff. So this one needs to get that done. Okay, going back to tech. Soon I'm going to have an experience with a Samsung Galaxy Active watch, I think. Rose Gold. This one asked for it for her birthday, which is coming up. So we're going to get some impressions of that. And whether or not it might be useful to you. I'm not sure exactly where she's gonna use it yet. Obviously it's not to tell time because she's still gonna ask me. <laughs> yeah, so life these days is going from library to library and cafe to cafe. Complaining again? And I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that's that's just my life. It's children reading. I like it though. This one's Lesson number one. When you do not have regular nine to five job, there is no day off. You spend time working maybe in public places or some other office in this case it's the pretty decent san leandro library i'm gonna be brave right now and i'm gonna try apple maps and drive all the way home using just apple maps so you know i'm a hardcore apple user for many years and i i did well i did a very popular video about the apple watch so now that i switched to samsung i thought it was fitting that i get the samsung watch so this is the this is the galaxy watch i believe uh 46 millimeter and this was on i don't know this is the lt version i don't know but anyways i got it here so i'm going to be talking a little bit more about it trying it and pairing it with the uh note 10. so speaking of some of the obvious things it's got a rotating bezel which i really like i think that's just the way that things should be unlike the apple watch which does not have a rotating bezel and it's also round so it looks more like a watch than uh, you know, in a traditional sense. Sure, there are square watches, but something round seems to be a little bit more comfortable since that's how most watches uh, are. And I'm sure there's a lot of band choices. This is just the default one that comes with it. It's rubber. I think this is the stainless steel model. It looks significantly uh, bigger and thicker than the Apple Watch though. So that's something that I don't like, but I'm used to big watches, so that's not gonna matter too much. Now you might notice a few scratches on here and that's because this version is used. Uh, yeah, used watch. But like I said earlier, tomorrow I'm gonna have my wa uh, wife's Samsung Active Watch and that one's a lot more smaller 
and it's designed for people that are going to be a little bit more active so it's smaller it's also rose gold check out that video if you're interested in that and we'll get some impressions of uh, that watch too of course it's going to go in a review process like the other stuff but it's going to be from my wife's perspective been in the bag. yeah was originally tasked to make rice but the wife's making the rice and we have contamination this is why you got to rinse the rice a lot Okay, well this I could be trusted with and this is my duty all the time. So I'm setting up the watch right now. It is, it's all right. It's just not as seamless as the uh, Apple Watch setup. So, you know, the user experience of setting up the Apple Watch is so much more advanced or high tech than it is. This is a little bit more typical, I'd say. You gotta agree to all sorts of stuff. Basically give up some of your privacy to use some of the features. Uh, I don't have a previous watch, so I'm gonna skip that for now. I guess one area that I use the Apple Watch quite a bit more, uh, besides the other apps and telling time and getting notifications and texting while I'm driving, uh, by just voice to text, is that using the uh, Apple Pay. So Samsung Pay is definitely going to be nice off of the watch versus busting out the phone all the time. What did I tell you that it's My wife's threatening me about the pork chop going bad right now, so camera. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, look at those pork chops. Is this lemongrass pork chop? Yes. My favorite. All right, getting ready to have dinner, so I'm gonna close this up. Galaxy Watch was fairly simple to set up. It looks like there's some nice free apps. There's some paid apps that go along with, it's just similar to the Apple ecosystem. We'll see which ones I end up using the most. I've got a ton of apps on my Apple Watch. I don't necessarily use them all, but I also have a first gen, actually series one. So things are a little bit slow on there. I just stick with the basics and we'll see how that works out on a Samsung if it does really well. One thing I'm gonna to try tonight is the sleep tracking, which uh, works with a separate app on the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So I'll see you tomorrow. This is taking way too long.